Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Darth Mirko, and I'm going to be doing my first ever commentary right now. It's going to be going on Darth, and this is my hello, my name is. Um, but before you guys do anything, I definitely want you guys to leave a like and comment on this, um, just to show you know support, and it helps us. Uh, it lets us know basically that you guys are enjoying the series, and uh, you know maybe you comment who you want to go next, and uh, yeah, it just shows support for us. But I, uh, I guess the main reason I wanted to do this was because I feel like this does add a lot of personality to your channel. You know, I see these big channels with, um, they're, they're growing at a really good rate and it's all due to a lot of personality that they're adding into their videos. You know, I don't want to be that player that just tries to pump out mini Tajes every once in a while or, you know, tries to release his episode every once in a while. But, you know, it's a good way to keep active and it gives the, the subscriber a better opportunity to know the player that they're subscribing to, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, where can I start with this? Um, well, my name is Ryan. I'm, uh, I'm 16 years old. Uh, I live in Colorado Springs, and I'm only a sophomore in high school. Uh, what else? Um, I've been doing this whole YouTube thing, I guess you could say, for about a year now, maybe close to a year and a half. I'm not sure. Um, but before I really get into that whole YouTube side, I guess I could kind of talk about how I even got into Xbox. Um, when I was about 10 years old, I got my first console. Um, a little bit before that, I had been going over to my friend's house a lot, and you know, every time I would go over to everyone's house, you know, they'd all have an Xbox. You know, I was really jealous. I really wanted one. Um, you know, we played like a lot of COD 4, and so I eventually went to my mom. You know, I was like, hey, I, I want some of these games. You know, you know, I want to get into this. So I ended up getting my first Xbox, and uh, and soon after that, I remember my uh, my friend in real life. He actually was the one who ended up getting me into YouTube. Uh, you know, he ended up showing me. I don't know if you guys remember uh, Smoky Drift or uh, Blackouts. You know, all those classic COD Four players. Uh, you know, and I would just see these uh, these really simple clips nowadays. You know, and just like these these no scopes. You know, from like a decent distance or you know whatever it was. You know, we would all flip out over it. And we we used to think it was like the most amazing thing. You know, I think we all used to be like that back in the day. Um, so that's that's really what basically got me into it. And then from then on, basically all those people that I would subscribe to, I would just watch every video from then on. And I would try my hardest to try and be like them, or I would watch what they would kind of do. You know, they used to have that bad habit of, you know, crouching after every shot. You know, I still have that habit, you know, to this day. Sometimes I'll crouch when I'm not supposed to, whatever. And that's still just from picking it up when I first started, like, all those years ago. But that's kind of off topic. Um, so basically, uh, a little after, you know, my friend showed me these players, and I was subscribing, you know, I was watching all this stuff, um, I wanted to get a Dazzle. So... I convinced my mom, you know, to run out and get me a Dazzle. Uh, I'm like, what? I think I'm like 10, maybe 11 at this point. Not quite sure. But I had a really shit computer. So <laughs> basically any any chance I had of ever making a quality video was just ruined because of that computer. Um, I remember my first ever, I guess you could call it my first ever montage. Um, of course, it's going to be on another name because I will never show that to anyone. Only a few close friends have really seen it because it is the most embarrassing thing I've ever shown that's related to YouTube. Um, I remember just taking, like, I, did, I didn't actually hit clips, right? I, I would I would just be happy if anything recorded at all from this shitty computer. So I would just be happy if anything recorded at all. So I would basically just take gameplay of me getting, like, a few quick scopes, and I would throw it into, like, Pinnacle Studio and add effects when there really are no effects to add in Pinnacle Studio. And... Um, I called that my first ever video and I was so happy when I finally finished it. It took me like two weeks to edit stuff that there was like no effects on. So that was, uh, that was pretty bad. Um, what else? Uh, I, I guess I could kind of talk about, um, the progression I've had through the whole YouTube side of the community now. Um, okay. Well, I guess I kind of started in these little, these really shitty tiny teams that no one knew the name of. Uh, I didn't even know the name of until I got in the game with them, and they offered me, and I joined. That's basically how every team went. Um, I was like, I was like, basically that guy, like that sniper that hung around trick shotters almost. And um, I would hit shots every once in a while. Uh, most of the time, people wouldn't send me my stuff, but you know, I know it's not my problem. Uh, and then I realized, like, the kind of videos I'm watching to get motivated, you know, like Darth or like whatever these, uh, whatever I'm watching, it was all sniping videos. And I'm over here trick shotting, so I finally realized like what I was actually doing was was pretty stupid to try and get me motivated. And then one day I went out and I got a 
PBR. You know, I needed an upgrade because I realized like I was actually trying to get more into it. Um, I was just uploading videos from you know people recording my theater stuff like that. So I had my PBR for about a month, and I had one friend in Excel, and he showed my clips basically after only a month of recording with the PBR, and the leaders really liked it. You know, and, and the day after I sent off my link Eclipse, I hit one of my triple headshots. So that was a big incentive to pick me up, you know, because they could see consistency. I was hitting five mans. I hit that huge banger, whatever. So I was in Exalt for about, I want to say, eight months. Um, still love that team. They're awesome. Uh, EYG4 just came out. If you guys want to go check that out. Uh, and then after about eight months in Exalt, I moved on to ERA. And I was in that team for about, I want to say, like a month before Cross picked me up to join Darth. And now I've been in here for a little over 10 months, I'm pretty sure. So uh, this is about wrapped up. Uh, I can I can talk more about how I got recruited into other teams. Uh, I can pretty much do a Q&A, like whatever you guys want. But this has to be wrapped up, I'm pretty sure, because you guys have just been sitting here staring at a logo for the past five hours. <laughs> so I'll let you guys go. Um, I hope this wasn't too terrible. And uh, yeah, thanks, guys.